What up? I was going to do an outdoor video, but it's like the windiest, coldest day here. It would have been a cool ambiance and maybe some of more inspiration. I'm also exactly not sure when people know where I am right now. <laughs> <coughs> and one of my friends says, I was like, you're like wearing... We're in the world of that Carmen San Diego game, except for it's we're in the world of Simon, whatever your last name is, he said, <laughs> as he misspelled four or five of my last names goofing around. I wanted to get started. I wanted to get talking and lost half of you already. Probably. Bored you. Hmm. It's raining money in this country. It's raining opportunity and just without end. I didn't think about the opening. I just thought about the middle and the end. Where do I start? What do you want to do? What do you want to? What do you want to do with your life? That's what I keep asking my friends. I keep blowing people out. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Tired of everyone thinking I'm crazy or wanting to throw me in a hospital, shooting needles up my legs and everything else, strap me down. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of making these videos. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of all this stuff. It just causes me a bunch of trouble. I'm just going to get to work and start doing it. Maybe some of you guys believe and pull some of this stuff off, then you'll jump on board. But for those of you who want to jump on board now, there was one girl I apologized to you. I haven't got back to you yet, but you were excited about what I was doing in Oregon, and you were ready to get started and wanted to get to work and everything else. Sorry the bank financing fell through. It's going to take me a little longer to pull that property off. I don't have the opportunity right now. But <clears throat> I've been an entrepreneur since I was a tiny little kid. Love it. Love everything about it. I don't want to go in it. Why do I love it? Who cares? First, and I'm tired of all this stupid red tape stopping everyone from doing their dreams, whether it be money or regulations or rules or whatever else. It's just stupid. The first business I ever started was a lawn mowing service business. I even invested my own money. My best friend's dad painted me a sign. I was a little kid. Set it out by the tree in our front yard. You know what the policeman in that fucking town did? Come by, well, regulations is you have to have that fast fastened to a building. You can't have that out there. And, of course, my parents were renting a house at the time. We couldn't mount a sign to our rental house for my lawn mowing service when I was eight. I don't even know. Come on. In a town of 6,000 people, some little kid wanted to push a lawnmower around him the American dream. He couldn't do that. And on and on and on the stories goes the doors slamming in my face as stupid reasons or whatnots or what's going on and shut me down. One of my most successful businesses was moving sporting supplements. Because for some reason everyone in this country likes tissue bumps. And I was good at building tissue bumps. And I was good at marketing myself. I went all the 24 hour fitnesses, all that stuff, set up a little table there, talk to you about supplementation, talk to you about diet, talk to you about, I moved some product. Plus I had free shipping and I shipped stuff up to our soldiers free. I lost gods of money doing that. Who cares? Shipping free stuff to our soldiers overseas. The guy I got in business with, started with and formulated his own products. He made money doing that, made his own label, his own containers and everything else, supplemented everything. I said, how do you do what you do, man? Oh, you want to get in business with me? Yes, I do. I had another girl believe in my dream. You know what? She gave me fucking $30,000 to go into business with this guy. She believed in it so much, she believed in me and whatever else. Wrote the guy a check for thirty grand. Even more just starting this, I just start bawling right now. It was war money. She gave her life for that money. I don't know how many years she spent over in that sandbox for that money? 
and I believed the motherfucker, and I was an idiot, young, and fucking naive, and he stole it all. Gave me a fucking cash register and 15 things of pre-workout with a promise of more stuff coming in a banner. He's going to help me open the store, help me get the product in the store, and help me market myself and sell the stuff. Stole all the money, went to a, and he had it all wrapped up in an LLC, went to a lawyer, and he said he owes two pages of other people he'd scanned out on money. He said you'll never see it, never went after it. Besides, the guy was a sniper in the military. Stole from his own brother and sister, even brother, probably. Kind of a thug. Didn't really want, I was just newly married. Didn't really want the fucking headache of some guy that knew more about weapons and tactics and could wipe out my family versus $30,000. Just let it go. Besides the fact that he's now a police officer in that goddamn town and whatever else. Fucking dumb. Still did really, really good as far as moving product and online and stuff like that. And then Google started doing their paper clicks. Otherwise, I was on top of the boards because I had undercut everybody <laughs> by a few cents, whatever. It put my business at the top and I was moving product. And I wasn't, didn't have enough money nor versed enough in Google clicks to understand it all, set it all up and get it going. So that business shut down and on and on the list to go. The businesses go. Red tape. Can't afford it, don't have the credit, can't get the loan, whatever other stupid goddamn reason there is. Anyway, still doing it. I'm things are working out. Figured some mental things out, some mentality, got the universe working on my side about got it by the tail, and I'm just inches away from starting to pull some stuff off, and then it's just gonna be a domino effect. I'm not doing one business at a time. I'm gonna focus on one thing and Can't do it. Too boring. There's plenty of people that need fucking work. Want to work. They're just tired of working for all these rich pricks to give them pennies. I said $20 an hour and I had people jumping on the idea. But if I told you what I actually wanted to pay you, not only you call me fucking crazy, be too good to be true. There's so much profit margin and all this stuff that they're just making up this fucking recession. It's a fucking joke. But I don't care what you think, say, or whatever else. I can get a $7,000 credit from the government for hiring felons. You don't think I can roof some houses with 10, 15 felons and pay them five grand a month to be fucking flipping out of that they'd have a job one and two making five grand a month doing that if i can give them all seven grand it's it doesn't matter the profit margin i talked to another girl because i'm master of networking because I want to do this together, and it's a big project, so it's going to take a lot of people, and I can't just do it by myself. And I got creative ideas out the ass that one business turns into about 15 businesses, and there ain't no reason why. Not. But if you can set up 10, 15 Airbnbs for a couple grand each or less and have them fully booked, why can't you start a company too and get in business with a lady that makes candles and sell the romantic getaway honeymoon on there too? And then start a company that cleans them all and then so your one company charges the other company and then you hire someone else to go around and clean those rooms. Or if there's a one-bedroom Airbnb, who would like to do that for a job? Who would like to make $30, $50 an hour, roll around, clean one this one little room, change some sheets, and roll to the next one, do five of those a day, be done in four or five hours, work three, four days a week, and make $20, 30 40 $50 an hour, and do the rest of whatever you want your, your family while I set up 401ks, while I set up trust funds and everything else. When your kids turn 16, they can buy a car. When they turn 21, they the, the money's there. No problem. Problem is all these rich 
pricks owning business has got to make it all. Don't pay nobody nothing. But there's money in every direction deeper than I can swim. For pennies on the dollar, you can start a business. We can do it right. Set up LLCs. Do you want to run the company? Do you want to? Do you want to own a cleaning company? Do you want to own a candle making? Co the girl that's made that I networked with today making candles can't even keep up. All she can make is she only has one burner. She can only make two candles at a time, which I think is ridiculous. If you're doing that well, get some more burners. And that's the other thing I have to balance: is do I want to stay in business with them? So I'm going to build a relationship with them. She's already talked to me about it where there's a profit margin in there for me and her, we can move some stuff. Do you realize it costs her $5 to make one candle and she's selling them? I can't remember if she said 20 or $25 a fucking pop. Now the balance is in there. Do I build a relationship with her and then go and start doing my own thing? Cause I think that's ridiculous. Can we make $5 a candle and still be happy and sell you a $10 candle? Where's the draw the line here? That's a lot of profit margin. That might even be better profit margin than making your own supplements. I might be talking a little loud, yelling a little loud. Yes, I'm passionate one and two. I got this plug in this ear. I can't tell how loud or quiet I am. I'm barely here. <laughs> what do you want to do with your life? What business do you want to own? If we got in business together and you cleaned rooms for me in a while, do you want to own it? Do you want to have a corporation? Do you want to own a cleaning business? Do you want to run, blah, 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 retire? What do you want to do? Do you want to work for me, work for yourself, be a business partner with me, invest a little money, you'll give you returns on your money? Do you want to go collect five pop cans and collect 20 cents and give me the money there? Do you want to be in business with me? Do you want to do your own thing? What do you want to do with your life? You can do anything you want in this country. And it's just raining opportunity money right now. Just, we just need to get started. And then we can rip this whole thing down and start over and build our own new country. Because it needs to be done. At least a new business model. Dreaming too small, being too greedy, or making too many excuses or whatever else. New medicines can be made, new businesses can be made. Sky's the limit. You can do an Airbnb. These tourists want to spend so much money so bad. Why can't you? I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm going to get local artists to want to hang their artwork in there. And I'm going to put a price tag on that. I'm going to put some candles in there. What else do I want to do? Sunglasses, shoes, jewelry, blah, 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 blah. On and on and on and on you want to go. Soap. People like to buy wine. There's local wineries that put their stuff on my shelves. I could make a profit off of that and then be big enough to buy my own land and then Wine my own wine and mine beer my own beer. <laughs> I mean, it's endless. Ned, I'm looking at buying his property on the other side of that fucking country, Hunter Acres Resort. Put schools on there. The one guy that put a school on there got a government grant. He not only supported himself, but two or three other teachers made a profit and made money off the students coming in there for three years. And we can't keep doing that and duplicate that and have more than one school and whatever else. And then I know that they're two million billion dollars a week for those rehab centers. People getting off drugs or whatever else. We want to set those up. So who wants to be a nurse for me? Who wants to run those? Who wants to own those? Who wants to do those? States that get hit by hurricanes and tornadoes and everything else every year we have a shortage of shingles. Who wants to own a factory to make shingles? Who wants to own the roofing company? Dude. Like I said, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of getting called crazy. I'm tired of whatever. I'm going to start one thing at a time. I haven't decided where to start yet. And I'm sorry to the girl that wanted to get started yesterday. I'm sorry. I'll 
come back around. And if you still want to work for me, we'll put you wherever you want to go. When there's 10 guys that own most of the food that runs through this country, there might well be an 11th guy. The only scary thing is once you start getting that big, how thug do they get? I don't know. I'm talking about all out war here against the fucking pharmaceutical con companies. I'm talking about war against the markets. I'm talking about war against the gas companies. I'm talking about changing it all. Yeah, the dream's huge. Who cares? How big is your dream? How small is your dream? Where do you want to get involved and what do you want to do? And if you don't want to do it with me, what do you want to do? So when I build a business, I can network with you because you're Miss Nelson and you have a wedding deal. And I got miles and miles and miles and miles of fucking beach where people just come down here and set up a few poles and a few chairs and a few candles to make gobs of money just doing that. What do you want to do? Do you want to expand across the country? Do you just want to work in that small little town there? What do you want to do? I got connections in Seward. If you want to just do a wedding in Seward, I can send them over to you. But who wants to market with me? Who wants to partner with me? Who wants to be in business with me? And who doesn't? Who wants to just sit on the sideline and shove me pills and needles and put me behind padded walls? Anyway, I guess I just wanted to do this video to see who wants to fucking do something cool with their life. And what do they want to do? So I can partner with you and help you grow. And if you're looking for an investor at the time, maybe I'll throw you some money. Or we can do a business together. We can start a business together. You can be an employee. Whatever you want to do. So I can be your yes man when the banks say no. Or I can be your help here. Or I can be your marketer. Or I can build your website for you. Or any way possible. That we can make our dreams come true in this great country. And together, maybe we can unite some visions and some religions and something else and actually change the whole fucking thing. If there's two men fucking to start at Amway, however long before they're even dead now, there's still millions of people building their business and their dream is to bring peace on earth. There's two of them. Why can't there be a third? That's me. I really think the earth is ripe. For men and women and human beings and all things to come together. Put our sticks down and put our rocks down and make something new. Anyway, how big is your dream? How small is your dream? My instant messenger is locked right now. I don't know how you're going to get a hold of me. I'm not going to throw my phone number out there. Shoot a message on my wall or something. I'll get to it. I haven't been on Facebook in a while. I'm doing other stuff. I'm doing it one step at a time. You like wrenching on cars, selling cars, any industry. I need scientists. I need researchers. I need captains of boats i need pilots i need farmers i need i'm talking about everything <laughs> who likes to make wine who wants to learn how to make wine who likes growing weed mushrooms and anything else what do you want to do who likes being cooks who wants to own a restaurant who wants to own a whatever Who wants to do it, mate, working for the guy that pays him the most money with the best benefits, with a retirement included? We'll do it on paper, off paper, shake your hand, or however you want to do it. I won't stab you in the back and live life together. Time and you can't be Superman. You can't change the world and you can't do it all. It's not a God-sized dream. It's not God's dream. It's not God's will for your life. I've heard it all. You can't afford it. You don't have the credit. You know, dude, I don't care if it takes me a pop can at a time, one business at a time, I'm going to do it. And I don't care if it takes me a lifetime of doing it. I never do one of them because I'm Pisces and all I do is bounce around in the clouds and it's all fucking impossible. Arnold Schwarzenegger said, I like doing stuff that's never been done before because it's never been done before. You're the first one to ever do it. 
I want to invent a new cell phone that's actually safe. Everything. Why do we go to Walmart and spend $12 for a package of batteries and you can go to the Dollar General and spend it for $1.25 and get a package of them? <laughs> Probably made by the same company. Maybe a little different chemical composition. Maybe they don't last just as long as a copper top. I don't know. Who cares? The money's on strings and controlled... Everything's on strings and controlled. Inflation's a fabrication. Our food's poison. And they're murdering us and we're murdering each other and we're so busy smoking pot and playing video games we don't care. But for those who do want to make a difference, for those who do care, Man, I go to these towns and I need some help or something like that. I go to these websites for food banks and everything else. They have the location of the food bank, but none of them have any contact information. No one answers the phone and they don't have any hours posted. I spend gobs of gas, the little fumes I have driving 30, 15, 20 minutes, whatever, across all these towns to find out to... You know, they have a sign posted on their door, their hours. What if you're homeless, don't have a bicycle, anything else, borrow a ride to get over there to find that information out? Can't we be a little more organized? Can't we be a little more helpful? Can't we do things just a little bit better? Can't we have another Ian happen and actually have some dudes that are all networked together where we have 20, 30, 40, 50 boats so we're not doing it one at a kind at a time? getting people off of Pine Island, bringing them supplies and everything else. We can just zoom over there with a hundred boats, grab the people that need to get off there, bring the supplies that need to be supplied. And can't we organize and do all that stuff? We had churches do awesome, awesome stuff. I did videos of it, a truckloads of stuff for miles, hundreds of people. But you call them, and the girl behind the counter only knows a few details, doesn't know all the details, and why doesn't she know all the information of when the boats are going and all this stuff? And then the church is shut down about a week and a half, two weeks before we even got power restored. They ran out of spree. I don't know how that all works. I got to figure that out, too, where they got their shipments and stuff. But you can go over here because they're doing it. Well, why were they just doing it, and why did we shut down? And I got to learn all this stuff, and that's why... I um, and between all the network I'm doing, and then you run into a door and a locked door. Then So then you got to come up with some more finances, come up with some more paperwork, go around this way. That's why I look like I'm not, haven't accomplished nothing yet. Along with life challenges being thrown at you and everything else that happens. Or poor decisions. <laughs> or wrong people or trying to help people at different levels. Because I can't help these kids on fucking drugs right now with the income that I have. I learned that the hard way. That fucking meth is nasty shit, dude. Nasty motherfucking shit. My friends ain't even fucking human no more that are on that. And not only that, if you're around them to try to fucking help them, the negative energy from that that spirit of that drug, not only do you watch the their lives crumble in like granulars of sand between their fingers as they think they're doing something, even if you aren't doing the drug and hanging around them, your life starts to get crumbly and fall apart around them and it's like a vortex that you can't even hardly escape that thing I could barely pull myself away from that and get out of that fucking city so destructive anyway that was a side tangent do you want to be a body piercer do you want to do do you like to paint are you a teacher? I need a transport driver. Are you getting too pay, late, paid too low to be a CDL driver? What do you want to do with your life? What do you like to do with your life? What do you want to own? Do you want to not own it? Do you want any employee? What do you want to do? Hit me up. Write me on my wall. Figure a way to get a hold of me. You want to get started. You want to donate 10 cents, 5 cents, $1, nothing at all. Say I'm crazy. Do whatever you got to do. Or just be on the list of, yeah, Simon, when you start this company, let me know. I'd love to own it. I'd love to work for you. I'd like to do this. I'm telling them to do this, whatever. Let me know where you're at, whether you want to relocate, where you'd like to move, what state you want to do your business in, what 
everything. I don't care what state you want to do it in. I don't know what. I mean, we're doing. I saw properties in Jamaica that look pretty fucking bomb to me. <laughs> I like Jamaica. Lots. Hell, if I had the money, I'd be the one that owned that scooter sitting in that fucking parking lot in Seward. I talked about doing that shit years before. Right around the time, what's his name, built his little coffee shop that failed at that bank there. It's just a location thing. Seward's really, really weird as far as starting a business and really hard. People there are really weird. Seward people are weird. Well, there's people that are like, you know, a coral. I can just, hey, man, you got great dreams. You have big dreams. I'm excited for you. Go you. I like those messages, too. Anyway, love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'm not done yet. I'm just going to keep being crazy me. That's the only comfortable thing I'm comfortable doing and enjoy doing most. People just don't know who I am, and I spent my whole life people-pleasing people so much that when I started being my own person, people thought I was weird, strange, mean, or something else. I'm tired of getting told no. I'm tired of getting stomped on. I'm tired of getting pushed around. I'm tired of all that. I'm tired of all the rules. I'm tired of everything else. Still learning. Still growing. Still got lots of growing and learning to do. There's still a lot of time. There's a lot of darkness, but it don't matter. No matter how big the darkness gets, how big the armies are, how many people they are, just go make some friends with them ghosts, and those ghosts just go swallow up the whole army and eat your elephants too. <laughs> Is that, did anyone else frustrate anyone else who watched those movies for three, four hours of how terrible everything was, and in about three seconds we found some solution fuck gobble it all up it's just how it goes good always wins there's plenty of good people on this earth yet if you want to put down your video games and your Netflix for two minutes and do something cool let me know if you just want to watch my Netflix show when it dude that cartoon I made, I found a guy that would animate it and do an awesome job animating it, and he'd do it for fifteen hundred bucks. I can make my first goddamn movie. I need animators. I want people that want to do acting, want to make movies, want to do whatever. Whatever your dream, goal, or passion is, I want to partner with you, network with you, work with you, talk to you about it. Whatever you want to do, be your cheerleader. Let's work together. Let's figure this thing out. And let's make this next year the best year we can make it. God bless you all. Love you. Whatever thing you bow down to, bless your yourself. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Whatever label you want to throw on and have fun with your family, whatever else. You want to start right one. If you want to lose weight, do you want to be the person that starts the training program so you're accountable by your, not by yourself, but also do you want to start that business? Do you want to do yoga or whatever else? Anything. Join me. Don't join me. Watch. Don't watch. Just want to get this out here. Let's do something cool with our lives. Something that matters. Not to change the world, at least change the course of your family. Leave a legacy. This is not over yet. Talk to you later.